Push that rock here with Simpson Math. Still talking improper integrals with unbounded domain. Okay. Now let's suppose we have two functions that are continuous over some interval a to infinity. And let's suppose further that one of the functions is always bigger than the other and that they're both always positive or at least never negative. There's nothing that equals zero, but they're never negative. So in other words, we have two functions. Well, one of them is B, so I'll use blue for, for B. And it's the bottom function. So maybe it looks like this. It dips down, it can even touch zero. It just has to be above or equal to or greater than zero all the time, okay. So the area here is that if we were to look at the area under the curve, so the integral from a to infinity. And then we have a top function, which is t, and I don't know what color starts with t, so I'll just use black. And so it looks, you know, it's always above this function. It can touch this function. Uh, maybe it comes down and touches it somewhere, but it's otherwise always above. So then there's this black area here if we were to integrate from a to infinity. Well, the direct comparison test, which is what I'm stating here, just simply stating it, tells us that, hey, if this, if this t function, <clears throat> if the integral, if the integral of it from a to infinity over which t is continuous, if it converges, well, then the b function is going to also converge, which just makes sense. Um, Oops, I need to put the integral up there. It's not that the function converges, but the the area under the curve um, converges. Well, what about if the bottom function, this blue area, what if it diverges? What if it's going to infinity? What can we conclude then about the top function? Well, clearly, if the blue area, which is smaller than the black area, is diverging to infinity, well, then the uh, black area, the, the top function's uh, area under its curve, will also diverge, okay? And these conclusions are the results of the direct comparison test. And it's one way you will uh, conclude whether or not a improper integral with unbounded domain converges or diverges. Math made simple, Simpson math.